<laughs> Everyone always asks, where is Inky? But nobody ever asks, how is Inky? Hi Tamers, today we're going to talk about everyone's favorite lightning imp, Inky. First of all, it's the only crystal and electric tem. These two types have a little bit of overlap, but you can at least think of Inky as an electric tem that counters other electric tems. Inky's traits are Fizz Master and Spech Master, which give a 50% final damage bonus to physical or special attacks respectively. I'm going to put a bunch of math on the screen to show you how impactful this modifier can be, but the TLDR version of it is Inky hits hard. Like, really hard. Like, wow, that's, that's a lot of damage. Let's take a quick glance at Inky's stats. His base attack and special attack are not that great, but his trait gives him a 50% damage bonus, so it's already top tier. His speed stat is pretty good, and his HP and defenses are about average. Whether you build Inky for physical or special damage, he best fits as a glass cannon. He isn't the fastest, but he fits into a useful speed tier. He can outspeed and threaten Koish, Chromion, Mix, and Tolkien with super effective damage. Here are both of his sample builds. Inky has the flexibility to be played as a physical or special attacker. In order to make the easiest possible comparisons, I'm going to try and cover them at the same time. For move pool, your main zero hold stab technique is Sparkling Bullet for Fizz Master and Thunder Strike for Spech Master. Because of this, right off the bat, Spech Master is higher damage on turn 1 when you have no hold. Fizz Master comes pretty close if you have neutral synergy, but that makes him more partner reliant than Spech Master as well. Both versions run Bright Beam as their second move. As a glass cannon, Inky gets a lot of value out of dodging attacks with evasion. This move is crucial against Thames that run high damage hold moves, like Wolfie's Dust Vortex and Yaller's Oshidashi. Both of those techniques easily Oko Inky, but since you outspeed those Thames, you can Bright Beam to dodge it every time it's up. Spech Master does more damage with this technique, but the base damage is so low it's negligible either way. For a Crystal Stab move, run Sharp Stabs on Fizz Master and Quartz Dirt on Spech Master. This gives Fizz Master access to a high priority crystal move and Spech Master a team wide crystal move. At this point in the analysis, Fizz Master is faster, but Spech Master once again has higher damage output and the ability to trap Thames if there's an Earth synergy. And the fourth move for Fizz Master is without a doubt Piezo Electric Blow. It's the hardest hitting physical electric move in the game, especially if you have an Earth synergy. So he's got a run it. Spech Master has the option of DC Beam or Tesla Prison. Both of them hit like a wet noodle, even with Spech Master, but DC Beam is Spech Master's only form of high priority, which is useful for outspeeding and finishing off weakened targets. Tesla Prison can be used to slow down Thames brought in to counter Inky. The best gear for each Tem is as follows, Taser or War Drum for Fizz Master and Chamomile for Spech Master. Taser suits Inky very well, as any Tem that survives a hit from Inky will lose an extra 6% HP and be weakened for that turn. War Drum gives Inky higher damage potential, but I think you're better off putting the War Drum on whatever neutral Tem you run to synergize with Sparkling Bullet. Chamomile's the best for Spech Master because it prevents exhaustion from Thunderstrike. It's also worth mentioning another item choice for both of them is Slingshot. There are a couple Thames in the meta that 4 times resist Inky's attacks. So many teams are running either Wolfie or Amphitir these days. Grumper or Mudrid are less popular, but you still see them from time to time. Inky's biggest problem is his speed, and the plus one you get from Slingshot just barely lets him outspeed Amphitir. Let's take a look at his TV spreads. Wow, they're exactly the same! if you're running Chamomile on Special Master. 18 Stamina TVs lets you reach 61 Stamina with very little investment. This is plenty for Inky to attack 3 or 4 times in a row, with either build. If you're not running Chamomile on Special Master, you will need a little extra Stam investment. 30 Stamina TVs will let you Thunderstrike into Bright Beam into Thunderstrike without overexerting. Aside from that, maxing speed and one of your attack stats is the way to go. He needs a big damage investment to make the most of his 50% modifier, and he needs max speed to make use of that damage, or evade threats with Bright Beam, and then put a value point in defense. My final thoughts on the two builds is Fizz Master is a little more partner reliant, but in turn it gains valuable speed. Spech Master has higher damage with Thunderstrike, and it's more consistent without relying on its partner. So with the actual build out of the way, how does Inky function in the current state of the game? Well, 
Unfortunately, he's countered by a lot of Thames that are popular in the meta. Gallus, Mudred, Valash, Capire, Seismunch, Hedgen, Golzi, Mashuk, Drakash, and Skunch all outspeed and easily one or two hit KO Inky. Unlike popular electric sweepers such as Amphitear or Zalbian, Inky isn't fast enough to hop onto a board and start sweeping right away. He isn't naturally speedy like Amphitear, and he doesn't get a zero hold high priority move like Electro Punch. Inky also doesn't have the sticking power of popular Crystal Thames, like Valash with Scavenger and Mix with Puppet Master. And both of those Thames get Crystal Spikes, which easily outdamages Inky's Sharp Stabs and Quartz Dirt with a high priority and zero hold. In order to win with Inky, you need to spend the early game picking off Thames that can threaten him in the late game. However, if you do manage to get Inky onto a board where he isn't immediately threatened, he doesn't need Sparks, Heat Up, or Madness buff to dish out big damage. It's already built into his trait. He's definitely a viable win condition, he just needs some preparation to sweep effectively. So what Thames partner well with Inky? Well, ideally you run a few Earth Thames. This is to cover Inky's fire and crystal weakness, and to provide synergy for his Piezo Electric Blow and Quartz Dirt. Wolfie, Seismunch, and Gario look pretty good on paper, as they're earth Thames that can defeat other earth Thames. If you run Fizz Master, you should bring some neutral Thames for the Sparkling Bullet synergy. Skunch has some crazy good synergy with Inky. It has Fighting Stab to deal with enemy Earth and Crystal Thames, and it can be built fast enough to perfect job before Inky's Sparkling Bullet to deal a ton of damage. Mouflonk is quite good as well. If you can sneak Inky onto a board where it isn't threatened with a Mouflonk by its side, you can cage them in and start abusing Inky's raw damage potential. Cage in general synergizes well with Inky, because you can use Bright Beam to get rid of the trap status and switch out, giving you some momentum. And finally, make sure you have a digital or mental Tem on your team to deal with melee threats. And that's about all there is to say about Inky. He has some really high damage potential, but he's a little difficult to use. That being said, if you take the time to build around him and set him up for success, he can easily clean up games and win you some easy TMR. Thanks for watching! My name is Blunk, and I make Temtem content for YouTube. If you like this video, thanks! Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day!